One thing about knockoff minifigures that I have to admit is sometimes they look close, but in most cases they're really off in some weird way, and sometimes they're just downright weird. And that's what the what we have here today. We have some 10 really super duper weird knockoff minifigures. Let's take a look at number 10. <laughs> okay, all right, so uh, I'm not gonna get into exactly why this one's weird, but it's weird, just trust me on this one. Now, I did a few knockoff minifigures. Uh, this was a few few videos back, but they were the same thing. They were minion figures, but they were actually superheroes. They were terrible. Be sure to check out that video. These are on the same par with that. These are strange for a different reason. If you look over to the right, I don't know what's going on over there. There's a guy in a pink suit. He's got some something in his hand. The guy right underneath that one has like a shake weight or something like that. No clue what's going on here. These, these characters are just bizarre, and I'll leave it at that. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have a fantastic looking collection of Star Wars figures with Obi-Wan Kenobi. For some reason he looks like Oscar the Grouch got into a bag of Doritos. The original Ghost Rider in Lego form looks fantastic, lovely figure. And here's the depressing knockoff. What in the world is going on with the design choices? I, I, I can't even describe what's going on with the pumpkin head. I mean, it just to totally doesn't fit. But if you're going to put a pumpkin head on him, at least get the rest of it right. Don't give him a sniper rifle and an electricity bolt. Come on. It's just sad. This is a set of knockoff Toy Story figures. At first glance, I'd say they actually look pretty decent. I might buy that. And then you look closer at Sheriff Woody, and oh my garlic, why did someone poop his pants on the outside? It absolutely just looks really gross. And if, honestly, stand back for a second and look into his face, and tell me you do not see a clown of some sort. He's got red eyes, he's got like red eyebrows, just a weird face, and his head comes into a point like a triangle or something. I don't know, the whole thing creeps me out. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. These are straight poo-poo. They're, they're bad. And, and I don't know exactly what they are. I think they're Paw Patrol. I'm not too keen on exactly what it is. But either way, no matter what you call it, it's a failure. The arms are wrong. The joints are wrong. The legs are wrong. The proportions are wrong. They just look weird and wrong. And why, why do they have, like, different colored bones? I mean, did that come from a different colored animal where their skeletons were green? I don't know. Either way, I'm not liking it. <laughs> oh, my brain. <laughs> Somebody please explain to me what happened to this poor man. Look at his arm. Who put a block on the end of Cyborg's arm? And what in the world is going on with that helmet? All types of things are wrong. Well, thankfully, we have a Cyborg that's a little bit better. Here we have Cyborg 2.0. Now, when you actually see him in the picture, your pants might end up looking like Sheriff Woody's. This one is wrong. Com just complete, completely wrong. Completely. Mm-mm, who doesn't like some big Hero 6? Now, these aren't too bad. They actually look pretty good, except for maybe Wasabi's strange looking hair. Then you have these. These, uh, these honestly, they look like they like got a concept together. They're like, hey guys, you know what? We're gonna do some big Hero Six figures. They're gonna be great. We're gonna sell a lot. And then they like got to the budget and they're like, uh, guys, we can't finish these. I mean, look at all right. I don't know all the characters' names, but I could tell you the yellow one looks like he has an upside down head. The purple one has a giant forehead, and I think that's Hero. I don't know, but I can't, I can't tell at all what's happening on in his face. Wasabi is white for some reason. He has this really doofy one-punch hero look to his face. The the dragon guy with the three eyes, he's just like blah. Like, hey, put some red dots in his eyes. And then Baymax, the coolest, coolest character of the bunch, he just got has a mask. And then they didn't even finish his paint on his torso. <laughs> this one did. This one's so terrible. I mean, okay, I can't, I gotta look at, I mean, 
All right. Uh, come on. Who, who who made the decision? Let's put the potato's head on a... I don't know. What kind of body is that? And then, hold on. Look t look at the frozen pea shooter on this one. Th th that's the part that really gets me. The frozen pea shooter. He has like a button up. He has a collar on. <laughs> and he has like... I don't even know what that... that He's got a vest. That's what it is. He's got a vest, and he's got two guns. I don't. I. I don't recall him ever having guns. The, the whole thing's wrong. And, and then the, the squash on the bot or the middle left there. Oh man. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look, look. Look down a little bit further down here. All right. It, it, look down to the bottom middle. It, you know. You got that. The pea shooter. He's got the the awesome policeman's outfit on he's got the sniper rifle what are you, stop giving them all sniper rifles uh, and the, the the best part about this picture is jack sparrow's hologram i mean who doesn't want that in a minifigure pick <laughs>